Welcome to St. Augustine, Florida. Florida's oldest city has history and beaches, but what about the food scene? Well, we are foodies who are incapable of visiting any new place without sampling all the local delicacies. Join us as we share the best restaurants, donut shops, comfort foods, and everything in between. And don't forget to leave a like to help amateur creators like us continue to bring you mouth-watering content. Food tour begins now. Hey! Hello. Hey! <laughs> We are on our way to St. Augustine, Florida. It's our first time and we're so excited. COVID has had some positives, meaning that it's helped us to explore more of Florida, which we've not done very much in our last 12 years of living here. So we're super pumped to check out this new area of Florida, the most historic part of Florida, which is gonna be awesome. Yeah, we know it has got a great history there. We're excited to see. Obviously we wanna see the beaches. But uh, they have great donuts too. They do have great donuts. <laughs> we again did our donut research, uh, but you know, we can't go anywhere without like food and wanting it. So that's exactly what we're gonna try to do for the next mm -hmm. four days in St. Augustine for Memorial Day weekend with a few of our best friends. And I am pretty stoked. Woo -woo. But before we go to St. Augustine, I mean, it's on the way. I think we need to go to Bucky's. We don't need to go to Bucky's. I've been so excited about this donut shop. It's called the Donut Experiment, and it started in the Midwest, but it's spread to other locations like St. Augustine, and what they do is you can choose your own donuts, like from the type of dough, from the type of topping. The frosting, the toppings, everything is customizable. Yeah, and but they also have these really incredible combinations of donuts like a peanut butter and sriracha. I'm just so excited to see what like a really good donut chef has created. So I'm, I'm open for the experiment. Indeed. The beauty of the donut experiment is that the customer is in control. If you want to create your own donut, then grab an order form and first choose your icing, then choose your topping, and last, choose your drizzle. There are endless combinations. Or you can take a pick from the special donuts board, which contains chef approved flavor combos. Choose your own donut adventure. So we've got some unique donuts today, including <laughs> the most unique donut I think I'm ever gonna try, yeah. the peanut butter and sriracha. Yeah, let's take a look. Peanut butter and sriracha, open faced Boston cream, frosted animal cookie, in key lime pie. Can't lose. This is a hot donut. Peanut butter and sriracha. I don't want to cheers because I want the sriracha to get on there. Oh my god. This is the most unique donut I've ever tried in my life. This tastes just like a frosted animal cookie. It's amazing. I'll be honest, I was not looking forward to this, but I wanted to try it. I thought the sriracha would be too much. But with the peanut butter, this strangely works. I want to try. I want to try. I'm anxious to hear your thought on this. Wow. When you bring it up to your mouth, you get the taste of the peanut butter, but immediately you smell the sriracha, and the hot complements the peanut butter in the weirdest way. Right? Okay. That's so, like being a three-year-old. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of the better donuts I can I've picture had. the animal crackers on it. Mmm. Oh, you're gonna love this one. That is cold on top with that hot donut. That's perfect. This one is so zesty. Mm. I feel like I feel like she took the lime and just zested it right over top oh, of I it. Oh, I will love that. This one's so good because the cream's right on top and it's really cold on a hot donut. Ooh, I'm excited mm. to try it. Good choice. Okay, so we're super excited because one of the first meals that we're gonna have here for our sit-down meal yeah. is... Full service restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so we're super excited for this place and um, they have some of the best burgers known in St. Augustine. And they're waiting on us, so we gotta go Let's get do food. It. The pinky comes up, it's because I like it. 
No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> good. There you go. That's, a, that's really good. With made-from-scratch creative takes on classic comfort foods, there is no bad option here. Good luck choosing. I have a yard bird sandwich, so this chicken is um, just shy of the size of the baby that's in my stomach. It's got a honey mustard vinaigrette, lettuce, tomato, and pickle that all look super fresh. French fries, oh, and look at the pepper on this french fry. <laughs> An island burger. This is a burger with pineapple and Thai chili sauce on it. So we love Asian-inspired southern foods. This is a great take on a burger. Look at Thai fried fry. So there's still a full piece of chicken on my sandwich, and I just cut this off of my sandwich. The pineapple hits you immediately, but then the Thai chili is what you get next. Sweet. Mm. So I saw this old guy over there tuck his napkin into his shirt, so I thought I'd do the same as I <laughs> tackle right, You better this. lean over this one. This is why Michelle doesn't wear white. You can't wear this one. <laughs> <laughs> got homemade bun. Is it good? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, we just ate at full service restaurant and it was good. So good. It was so good. That's like one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. Yeah, and yeah. that chicken sandwich. What would you think of the chicken? But the baby was kicking it a lot. Yeah. The baby was kicking a lot. That's how we know it's good. If it, the baby kicks after baby a meal. Kicks. You it's know, it's good. a good meal because baby doesn't kick after every meal. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you gotta come here. All right, right, and we gotta go. It's about to rain. Run! Bye. Good morning. Good morning. It's a it's a, not a strong good morning for Michelle. She's a little <laughs> tired, as her dad would say, her eyes are like two piss holes in the snow. <laughs> but we're at the beach, so maybe it's in the sand. But we got up early because we wanted to try island donuts. This is a really, really popular donut place here in St. Augustine. Their Instagram is incredible, like mm -hmm. some beautiful looking donuts. Uh-huh, and fritters too. I am so excited to try the pineapple fritter because I've never heard of a pineapple fritter. I've only ever heard of apple fritters. We are pretty stoked and we just got here and there's already a line out the door so we can tell this is a popular place. Yeah, so, uh, something. Yeah, let's go do it. Let's do it. It smells so good in it's here. It's overwhelming. S'mores. Toasted coconut. <laughs> Traditional glazed. Blueberry French toast. Very berry. And orange old fashioned. As if six donuts weren't enough, we also got this amazing, at least one pound, if not more, pineapple island fritter with coconut on it. Wow. Look at this glaze. I feel like we should just go ahead and just take a bite of this I together. Know. I've never had a pineapple fritter before. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love toasted coconut. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. There's pineapple in it. There's a reason there's a line out the door at 7 a.m. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. How about some great coffee to go with those donuts? Luckily, Kookaburra Coffee is right across the street. Okay, we needed a quick pick-me-up, so we stopped at the famous Kookaburra, Kookaburra Cafe for a little coffee in the morning. And what do we need to come back for? Aussie pies. We got the honey badger. It's got honey and cinnamon um, in latte form over ice. Very excited. Also, maybe if you're lucky, Caleb will do his Kookaburra impression for you. Wow, you got super lucky. That's what a Kookaburra sounds like. Look it up if you don't believe me. That you're going in for a kiss. Ah, delicious. Nope, coffee. But got two. <laughs>
we ventured to historic Old Town St. Augustine to continue our food tour. This area is a popular tourist hub with a seemingly endless amount of restaurants to choose from, but we were immediately drawn to Pizza Time, a classic pizzeria serving Brooklyn-style pizza pies. This is a no-frills pizza joint that serves both classic and unique slices. Pizza. I had a game time decision. I asked him what his favorite pizza was, and he said lasagna pizza. But he eats his lasagna pizza for breakfast every morning with whiskey and blue moon. It's a, that's a that's a combination that's a I can get behind. Life. Yeah. So uh, yeah. And I love lasagna. So the best pizzas, you have to get messy with it. Mmm, that looked good. Is that crunch? Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. My dad makes like the best lasagna. I need him to make a lasagna pizza now. This is killer. It's like homemade lasagna right. on a crisp, thin crust pizza. Oh, good. That's wonderful. In case you were wondering, the kids love it too. If you want to escape into the old world feel of the Prohibition era, then Prohibition Kitchen is an absolute must. It's worth the wait. We're at the Prohibition, Prohibition room. Kitchen. Oh, the Prohibition Kitchen. This Prohibition is a. Kitchen. We had to wait an hour and a half to get in here, and it's probably very loud. You can't hear this, but Look damn, it. this place looks cool. And their cocktails, cocktail, cocktails. We already had several. <laughs> their cocktails are called prescription. Yeah, so we're excited about tonight. The Naked and Famous. Two words not used to describe me. Bull peanuts. You should always get these at a gas station. However, it was on a whim and I wanted it. I don't regret it. Are they good? They're good. Okay, so we have a short rib grilled cheese with 36 hour braised short rib. Doing this from memory, obviously. Yeah. Cheddar cheese, sofrito, which is seasonal tomatoes and onions and bell peppers, and then garlic aioli on sourdough. I'll put some ice on it. <laughs> it's like a rib patty melt. Is it messy? No. That's amazing. You need to go to the bathroom, get cleaned up? I got a whistle pig, 10 year single barrel with a punta moss <laughs> and a luxardo cherry. If you love whiskey, this is for you. And plus, I love puta mas. <laughs> so it's delicious. <laughs> Were we hungry at this point? No. Did we want dessert anyway? Damn straight. A short walk away is the famous Peace Pie Ice Cream Sandwiches. This ain't no ordinary ice cream sandwich from the frozen food section. This is a craft ice cream cookie pie filling hybrid. If you are a dessert fan, then prepare yourself. Two shortbread cookies with the peace sign on it with banana cream, ice cream, and pie filling in the middle. Did we just make it to heaven in St. Augustine? I think so. I don't know how to tackle this thing. Just go in for it with a big bite. I have napkins in my purse. <laughs> Freezer burn? The ice cream sandwich, the shortbread, is like cinnamon flavored. Really? It's wonderful. Yeah. Get a bite out of these tough nuggets. It's hard to bite into, but damn it, it's good. That cookie is like Christmas. How was your ice cream? So yummy. I had it sprinkled on mommy. High five. 
Okay, so after I heard about Peace Pie, where they put pie filling and ice cream inside shortbread cookies. Yeah, we knew we had to get here. This was worth every bit. This started actually in New Jersey, but it spread here. Thank the Lord, because mm -hmm. we haven't been in New Jersey ever. Nope. So yeah, this was definitely worth your time. Mm -hmm. I think had we not maybe eaten so much beforehand, we would have gotten our own, but we made a smart decision to split one. I think otherwise we'd be in a food coma. Close to it. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Peace pie got us feeling like. That's how good peace pie ice cream is. Okay, we're at Fiction Donuts. We drove out here because I follow them on Instagram and they have some of the most unique donut flavors I've ever seen. Like the grapefruit hibiscus or uh -huh. the everything bagel. Everything bagel donut. Yeah, so we got a bit aggressive. We got more than we probably needed, but you know what? I don't know when we're coming back here, so. Yeah, and reading burns calories. That's right, reading burns calories. That's what the sign says. Hey, when, when you read and eat donuts, everyone wins. That's right. Half up. <laughs> To the uninitiated, this small shop with a simple sign reading donuts may not look like much, but inside is what can only be described as heaven for a donut lover. Of the hundreds of donut shops we've tried over the years, Fiction Donuts ranks at the very top. With flavors like burnt honey rosemary and mango mimosa, sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. Birthday cake. Berry hibiscus, goat, goat cheese. cheese, everything bagel, Whoa. donut, espresso, strawberry kiwi, dragon fruity pebble, orange vanilla cream, blueberry, vanilla glaze, toasted coconut, raspberry lemonade. Good job, me. Our donut memory is so good. It's so good. Don't ask me about geography or anything else. <laughs> I'm so excited. Not even gonna wait. We're in over our heads today. Right. Yeah, at the same time? That's very creative. Salty on the top, sweet on the bottom, and it's not for me. I love it. Not for me. That is a pregnancy craving and a donut right there. That's like everything she would want. Oh my gosh. There's like salt on the top of it. It's like a cream cheese frosting. And then obviously the everything bagel seasoning. That's your thing. That was made for you. <laughs> My grapefruit hibiscus. Okay. You got it. Okay. Is that more your speed? That is my speed. Oh my gosh. That hibiscus. It's so tangy. That's a beautiful flavor. A donut with goat cheese on it. A cake donut with goat cheese. Here we go. I'm in for the creativity. Oh, look at the inside of that. That's a good looking cake donut. That keeps it so moist. Yeah. That is delicious. It's the right amount of goat cheese. Yeah. That is absolutely delicious. You have to like goat cheese, obviously, but that is oh, really I'm good. I'm excited mm. to try it. Mm -hmm. Espresso. Orange, vanilla. It's got coffee Michelle, beans Michelle, on top. It's mm -hmm. crunchy. Michelle, it's a crunchy top. Mm. Mm. I ain't mad about our 12 donuts, no. <laughs> These donuts are stranger than fiction. Mm. The little ones are my favorite, but I wanted to know how it is. All right, show me your favorite one. This one. Because a dozen donuts just wasn't enough breakfast for two people, we decided to hop next door to the local Kookaburra Coffee an Aussie American espresso bar that serves mouth-watering meat pies. Once you get a whiff of a fresh pie pulled out of the oven, I defy you not to get one. Mocha nut coffee, which looks delicious, but 350 mimosas on Sundays. It's Sunday. I've got an upper and a downer. But why did we come here? <gasps> For the Aussie meat pie. Get a bite. The corker. It's got sausage, egg, and cheese in it. Oh, look at that in there. Mm. That good. Mm -hmm. Look at that gooey cheese. You're getting a good bite, sir. That is flaky. I haven't had meat pies since being in Australia. This takes me right back. 
That's amazing. Mm. That's a religious experience on mm -hmm. a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you tell which one of us is pregnant? This is a long stick. You know, it's actually a musical instrument. That's exactly right. Okay, Fiction Donuts, I think we have nothing but high praise for them. Yeah, if you look behind us, it just looks like a donut shop in like a little strip mall area. It is, and I borderline could call ourselves experts, the greatest donut shop that I have been to in my entire life. That is the biggest praise I've ever heard. No, in all seriousness though, that donut shop is the absolute It was amazing. Yeah, you need to go there. Plus. To go get a meat pie, an Aussie meat pie at Kookaburra right next door after that, you cannot beat that one-two punch. Like, I haven't had Aussie pies in so long since being in Australia, and that is legit. I just found donut frosting on my belly. And that's the kind of food goers we are. It truly was an awesome, spectacular weekend, and we can't wait to come back here and explore more of all the food and drink St. Augustine has to offer. Thanks for following along with our travels. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked that video, hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe so you can follow more mostly food-related adventures on Michaela Goes West. Until then, bye.